Hello everyone, my name is Ankur and today we'll be going to discuss what is packed malware. So packed malware is a malware which is compressed by an attacker in order to evade antivirus detections. So it is done using a runtime compression or encryption which compresses an executable file. And why do we need the packers? Because it allows hackers and attackers to hide malware from the antiviruses. Nowadays, we have seen in the research, 80% of the malwares are packed, which is a huge one. This is how it looks like. Here is the original file, which is not packed as of now and we can see in the PE header of uh, the original file it has a text section the data section the resource section and the resource data whenever it is packed with any of the packing encryption techniques it includes a decompression stub so whenever it is executed in the computer we can see the strings in the memory what types of packers do we have to deal with upx as pack thamida but in this particular video we will look into upx which is a ultimate packer for executables why do we use upx or why do we see upx a lot used by attackers because it is extensively used because it is free and open source and it's known for its high performance it offers high compression ratio it is portable and usually written in portable c plus plus language so what are the tools which we are going to use we will be going to use a upx packer a detector like exe info pe peid we're going to use oli debugger we'll be using a plugin which is embedded in the oli debug we'll be going to use scylla and ida pro okay now let's move towards the lab work here is my lab which is uh, isolated from the network and uh, we have a packed file right here uh, which is packed right now and uh, we will check with the tool called exe info pe let's see which packer is used to pack this file Okay, so as per the answer, it is packed with the UPX. Interesting. We can use a tool called PE Studio to look into different sections and strings of this packed malware, which is packed by UPX. It's quite an interesting tool. So I'm going to select this file which is packed with the help of uh, UPX and we can identify its directories and uh, as per the IAT it is UPX2 under its section and the sections are also compressed we can see it's md5 which is like ioc to us and we even can't locate its entry point which is strange let's look into the libraries we only see three dlls loaded 
with first one as URL mon DLL kernel 32 DLL and ADV API 32 DLL. Let's look into the symbols. These are the APIs which are used by this packed malware. The first one is load library to, li to load the libraries into kernel 32. The second one is crack proc address to identify the process address of kernel 32.dll and this is virtual protect which is used by a malware to write the permissions and moving further towards url download to cache these apis can't even tell what they do so we have google with us to identify its uh, nature some are pretty generic and a few are few can be looked into google for more information and further proceeding with mstn we can identify which libraries are useful and which are not but looking at this section of strings here we can see that a lot of obfuscated and encrypted text is there which is not readable by a human so we know that this file is packed what we'll be going to do is we'll be going to use a debugger and uh, with the debugger we can identify the, the original entry point of this malware so we have this Oli debugger which is a great tool to do a static analysis on a packed file let's open the packed file in OLE debugger okay so it's asking me that this file is either compressed or encrypted and it's asking me to analyze this code so I'll click on no because we want to manually analyze this code we don't want the tool to do its stuff okay so I can see the first instruction as push ad something is pushed into the memory with moving some ESI where the register value is being moved to ESI and followed with the load operations and a push parameter is being passed with followed by a nope so we'll definitely go into the name section and we can see its sections are simply upx2 and we don't see various names there so what we're going to do is we will scroll down a little until we see a number of zeros which will indicate the original entry point so we will be going to set a breakpoint here and we'll be going to run the sample and uh, we can see certain values are moved to stack so and the executable is paused here so we'll be going to step into the instruction set and uh, we can see uh, a memory address 40154f and we can proceed here with the our dumping we can use our plugin called only dumpx because we identified the original entry point this is where our unpacker starts from uh, all these instructions are the instructions of a packed executable but this is uh, our original entry point so we'll be going to use only dump x and we'll be going to dump this process since we identify the oep and uh, we know it starts from 40154f we 
select on get EIP as OEP and dump this somewhere in our desktop. And this has been dumped. Click on finish and uh, we can see it's dump here in the desktop and we can run this sample in our IDA Pro and uh, we can identify the strings which were encrypted they all will be in the simple plain text and will be readable by a human user so we can say that we unpack the file with the help of uh, a breakpoint near lots of zeros and uh, we can make sure by opening up uh, IDA Pro and uh, we can open this file from the dump section and uh, IDA Pro is quite good because it uses flirt feature and it identifies all the functions libraries and uh, it gives us uh, the virtual address at this location wasn't able to extract by IDA so we will be going to continue this and uh, you go to OK and uh, we can see its strings right there. Let it load. Okay, so the functions are start right here. Some of them are we can see that it is starting from four zero one four. 54F. This is the original entry point, and uh, IDA Pro was able to identify it because we dumped it in such a way that original entry point works. And uh, let's quickly look into the strings. Window and uh, with all the efforts we made, we can identify certain strings which are quite useful for our static analysis. And we can find this is redirecting to www.practicalmalwareanalysis.com. This can be used as an IOC because we are able to find a URL which is redirecting to this. And we can see certain APIs which are useful for us. And we can use our multiple tools to reverse engineer it. So now we have fixed the file and unpacked it. We need to make sure that it imports are fixed as well and uh, we will be using Scylla for that and uh, Scylla is quite an impressive tool in terms of fixing the imports now we'll be going to set packed malware process as 3196 and uh, we'll be seeing the original entry point as 40154f and we need to edit it and uh, click on IIT auto search it automatically searches the IIT now we need to get the imports done since the imports are being found we need to fix the dump and uh, we have successfully dumped the file and it can be used 
as static analysis and dynamic analysis thank you for watching the video please hit like and subscribe for more further videos